Hello and welcome back to Newsman. It's the 21st of October, my name's Lumen, and right now it's time for a recap episode. I was away over the weekend and thus everyone decided at the perfect time to release all the news. So here we are. In this episode we're having a look at the BlizzCon schedule and map, Hearthstone's latest closed beta patch, Blizzard's freshly re-announced Heroes of the Storm, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls on PS4, and a few new and interesting Nvidia announcements, starting with those BlizzCon goodies. BlizzCon 2013 is just a couple of weeks away and Blizzard have decided that now was the perfect time to reveal the convention schedule and map. For those that haven't heard or perhaps have just forgotten, BlizzCon runs between Friday November the 8th and Saturday November the 9th. Whether you're attending the show or watching from home, this is something you'll likely want to check out. The schedule tells us that we can expect information, announcements and all sorts of other goodies from Reaper of Souls, World of Warcraft, the Warcraft movie which is something I'm super keen to hear at least a little bit about Hearthstone, Starcraft 2 and Heroes of the Storm, which we'll be discussing in a mere moment. Then on the esports side of things, there's also stuff like the World Championship Series Finals for Starcraft 2, the WoW Arena Invitational and the Hearthstone Innkeepers Invitational. Read more below and be prepared. Now for a really quick bit of Hearthstone patch talk. Another patch has been released for the Hearthstone closed beta and this one is far less interesting than the first. It contains several quality of life improvements, additional bug fixes and Blizzard have modified the warrior card Battle Rage. Battle Rage now costs 2, down from 3 and now only counts friendly characters. That's about it. A pretty big nerf, but I'm sure the warriors will survive. The amount of arcane dust you get for disenchant in Battle Rage has been increased temporarily, so anyone looking to drop the card after the nerf can do so without a loss. Read the full patch notes below and be sure to let me know if there's anything you think they've missed. In more Blizzard news, because, well, there's been a lot of it recently, it's been announced that the upcoming standalone free-to-play MOBA, formerly known as Blizzard All-Stars, and Blizzard Dota before that, will officially launch as Heroes of the Storm. Storm. We heard before that Heroes of the Storm was a thing, but had no idea what it was meant to be. Now we know. Nothing else was mentioned about the game, we didn't see any gameplay, the trailer shown doesn't really tell us much, but BlizzCon is just around the corner and it seems like there will be more revealed there. Stay tuned for more information as it becomes available, and watch this super cute announcement trailer right here on YouTube. Next, Reaper of Souls. The much anticipated Diablo 3 expansion will not only be playable on PC at BlizzCon 2013, but also on PlayStation 4. So yes, that said, Diablo 3 and Reaper of Souls are coming to PlayStation 4, and I think that's absolutely amazing. I recently gave Diablo 3 on PS3 a try, and I gotta say, I just get the feeling that the game was meant to be played on consoles. It controls amazingly well, the interface is slick, and most importantly, it's great to play with friends on the couch. I'm not sure if this means we'll see a simultaneous worldwide release for both PC and PS4, but either way it's great to see Blizzard supporting their console playing fans. You can read more about this below as with all the other news in this episode. Last up, the clever guys and girls from Nvidia have announced a slew of fun and fancy looking new goodies for all of us to look forward to. There's G-Sync, a method of reducing screen tearing and artifacts that'll apparently make us wonder how we ever managed with V-Sync for all those years. Shadowplay, a substantial new update to Nvidia's GeForce experience that's coming on October the 28th, which will allow us to pretty much use our GPUs as capture cards to record at full 1080p, 60fps, with little to no performance loss and at an incredibly high bitrate. Shadowplay also saves the last 10 to 20 minutes of your gameplay so you don't miss a thing. Native Twitch TV support is coming to the GeForce experience. Game stream for the handheld shield has been detailed. The GeForce GTX 780 Ti has been revealed. New and impressive looking game bundles were announced and a whole lot more. I urge any of you that are even in the least bit interested in technological advancements or gameplay recording or anything like that to give this a peek. It's well worth it. That is however going to be it for this episode. I will once again just mention that there's a whole lot more news linked below in case you want to do some extra and no doubt interesting reading. You can also give this video a like, share it and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly though, happy waiting for BlizzCon 2013. Happy that.